Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Nettleman, and welcome to the evolution of land surveying technology. It's 2022, hard to believe, and look at all the technology we have in our lives. iPhones, self-driving cars, spectacular. And the same kind of general technology we have in our lives, there's also surveying technology. Things we never would have dreamed of, you know, laser scanners, GPS antennas that collect the exact point within a few, you know, millimeters. And all of these things are spectacular. I mean, they've revolutionized how we do land surveying. But today, we're going to look back at where we all started. And that begins in Rome. You know, Romans had these things called gromas, and the groma was basically two wooden pieces at 90 degree angles, and it had plumb bobs hanging down. Well, that was the original measurement tool of the agrimensores, or land surveyors, and the groma was basically used, you know, obviously to measure 90 degree angles so you could build things like bridges, aqueducts, roads, all this great stuff. And the groma was extremely basic. You know, I'm going to put a picture up of what it is. It's basically a stick with two 90 degree angles on top of the stick. And that is where we all started. Well, imagine showing a agrimensore, a Roman land surveyor, a compass. This was really the first tool of precision measurement. Beautiful, beautiful brass compass, really fun to use, and it attaches on a, uh, not a tripod usually, but a Jacob's staff, and the Jacob's staff with the compass was a huge revolution because you could measure to the nearest one degree. So that's 60 minutes or 3,600 seconds. And you say one degree is pretty poor today, but imagine a few hundred years ago, revolutionary technology, absolutely game changing. And of course, there are other, you know, additions to the compass. You could have a, a solar compass, which had these tools on there to measure the sun, there, this is a small kind of representation, but it's, it's still a pretty cool little instrument. And we have a compass, and of course, back then, we used a chain. And these 66-foot chains were, uh, were definitely revolutionary compared to the, the ropes with knots tied in them by the agrimensores. And I'm going to make a mess of this, so we're just going to put this down and uh, let it work. So we've got the compass, we've got the chain. This goes by for several hundred years, you know, waiting, upgrading, slowly progressing. Well, now we come to maybe a level, big guy, but that's not really what we want to do to measure angles. What you really want is one of these. And this, either a, a theodolite or a, a transit, whatever you're using at the time, you've got a big brass angle measurement device here on the bottom. And then you've got a telescope on top. And this guy not only measures horizontal angles with this piece, but it also measures vertical angles with the other circle. And again, you can level up, put it on a tripod, all kinds of good stuff. But again, this is game-changing technology. Before, we could only measure to the nearest one degree, which is 60 minutes. But now, we can measure to the nearest one minute, or 30 seconds, or one second. Spectacular. You know, exponentially 
game-changing environment. And now, you know, we're up to like, what, 1950, one second wild T2 instrument, beautiful. Fast forward 70 years to 2022, we've got the GPS, the laser scanner, the total station, all of these, again, with the microprocessor revolution, have exponentially increased the productivity of surveyors. But is that productivity a good thing? Is that productivity benefiting land surveyors? If you'd like to go beyond just the equipment, which is in this video, and talk about what's going to happen next with surveying, watch the next video, Threats to the Surveying Profession, Advances in Technology. I really hope you've enjoyed all this great stuff. I keep this in my office so I can look at it all day long. And if you'd like to explore more, I'm going to put a few links below to great tech on the internet. So enjoy and come back for the next video. A lot of fun stuff.